Yeah, dude, I like that. So this is adding an enemy to my Godot game. We grab the model from Mixamo and write the code from scratch. His job in this game is to run at the gate and explode. It's simple, but it demonstrates how to build an enemy with multiple states. All right, so we're back, and this time we're going to be making an enemy, and I'm gonna be doing it uh, pretty much all from scratch. And we're gonna be doing it live. Fuck it, we're gonna do it live. We'll do it and live! So, Fuck it. Do it uh, live! First thing we're gonna do is just create a, um, not a new 3D scene, but go here and then hit up a character body 3D. Um, now this guy is gonna be the Kamikaze, uh, the running guy that just is gonna blow up. We're gonna need to add a collision shape. If I can spell it correctly, a collision shape, there we go. And we know it's going to be a capsule because it's always a capsule. What else would it be? And we bring it up uh, right there and then we can just look at the transform and we just want to put it at one for now. Um, we're going to probably be changing that. Let's go ahead and save this scene. And I'm going to make a new folder called Kamikaze NMA. and uh, we'll save him in there. <clears throat> now we need to go to Mixamo, and this is our handsome little fella, so we're going to download him. Sign in to download, fuck you, man. I shouldn't have to sign in. No, oh, no, don't download it, I want animations. And we'll go to Goofy. Then we can get the goofy run. And uh, we're going to go to in place, and download that guy with the skin. And then uh, we need to have. Damn, like um, when he runs up and explodes, what is he going to do? I think that's it. I think he's just going to give a little, give a little joyful jump. Here I just grab the other animations I need, like idle, walking, and death. I just speed it up for brevity. There we go. Uh, I think that's everything we need. So let's go ahead and close this. It takes a lot of resources on the browser. Um, then we're going to go to my downloads. I'm going to, well, yeah, let's make a new folder and we'll call it um, Kamikaze MMA. Uh, and then we're just going to grab all that shit and throw it in there. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up Blender. Are you fucking serious? Are you fucking. Alright, so we're going to go to General. Uh, we're just going to delete everything and then we're going to say file, import, um, FBX because we downloaded FBXs. We'll go to download uh, the kamikaze dude, we'll grab all that shit and we're going to say import. This is going to take a second and my computer's not going to be happy about it. Oh shit, that didn't take as long as I thought. Uh, so then we can grab all of these and we can actually delete them and then there'll be a bunch of meshes right here we'll just grab the meshes and delete those too so now we have the singular armature and mesh and uh, we can go to our animation tab here and we have this dope sheet down here we'll switch that to action editor and then all the uh, um, Animations are like named uh, Mixamo Layer 1. This is how you look through all your animations. You can just click through here to look through them. Uh, so I like to go through and rename them like Falling or just Fall. I don't like to add the ING because it's just added shit. Um, so this is Idle. And then we'll keep going with uh, Run. So 
Uh, let's go ahead and control S to save this guy and we'll go up. Um, I think I'm just gonna, might as well shave it, uh, save it here. Do I have a blender? New folder, blender, assets, mobile, game, save, blender, oh shit, uh, go in there and call this guy, uh, kamikaze anime, dot blend, and now we need to get his vertex count down, so we can go to layout here, and um, I think it's in here, or maybe it's over here. There should be something that says statistics. So we can click on stuff now and it'll tell us um, how many vertices and stuff we have. We really want to get this down. If I can get it to under a thousand um, uh, vertices, that would be great. And probably less than that would be even better. So let's take a look. Uh, we're just going to click on him and then go to the um, modifiers over here. These just affect shit over here in Blender, but it's a very nice and easy way to do it. We're going to click Decimate, which is going to decimate our uh, geometry and try to make it better or uh, less. Um, so the face count right now, 5,628. If we bring it down, we can like see the effect it's going to have. And, uh, you know, it makes their model look shittier, but um, we're not going to see a lot of that because of the vantage point we're going to have. Obviously, that's too much. That's kind of like, it's a good 2006 model, I feel like. I really like the way that looks. Um, let's do just a little more. Yeah. That'll be good enough for right now. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and apply that because we already have backup models. And uh, yeah, that's looking good. Um, I'm going to save. And then let's go ahead and export this guy because we have everything that we need done, I believe. Uh, yeah. Um, so we can always change the things in Godot. You know, change the animations. So we're going to say GLTF. We're going to go to Documents, uh, My Shitty Mobile Game, The Enemy, and then we're going to Export. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Then we'll jump back into Udo. So we got our GLB here. Now we're just going to drag it in. Then we'll click on it and say uh, Make Local. Um, let's click on it again and go to Transform. And we're just going to set this to zero and zero, so it is where it should be. And you know what? Our um, our collision shape is actually pretty fucking close. So, Kamikaze, uh, we got this animation player right here with all of our animations on it. Um, let's, I guess, get to coding. So we're gonna say new one. Uh, yeah, why not? That all looks good to me. So let's get rid of a lot of this stuff right here. Now that we have an empty canvas, thoughts should arrive like butterflies. And I think my first thought is to make some states. We're going to have a state machine. So uh, on ready var, and we're going to set that equal to um, previous states prev states and that is going to be equal to none to start with I mean, we could set it to anything but I just like to say none and then we're going to copy this line control C we're going to say control V control V have two more and then this is going to be the current state and then this will be the next state and the next state is going to be idle to start us off and we're going to say match the current state and we'll have stuff in here and 
and I believe that will catch us if whatever we have doesn't, um, if we don't have a state or whatever. So we'll say, uh, we don't got no state. All right, so um, <clears throat> now that we're matching that, we just need to update it. So we're gonna say, the previous state is now equal to the current state and the current state is then equal to the next state the incoming state um, so what do we want to do here let's go ahead and put idle so if we are idle then we should uh, just run the idle um, function and I like to separate shit out like that because it just makes sense to me to do it that way so now we can say idle there and we'll just play an animation so let's go ahead and get an on ready reference to our animation player uh, we're gonna say at on ready bar anim player equals and then uh, I think it's just right there animation player so that's this guy right here we'll go um, let me close this and go back to well I'll just put it in no distraction mode or whatever the fuck it's called and then uh, down here um, we're going to say anim player dot play and that would be um, idle. So uh, if current state is not equal to previous state. And the reason we're doing this is that's only going to play once. And so what I'm going to do just to demonstrate that is say print and I'll say here I am printing a bunch and then if I did this correctly and I print down here it says uh, here I am printing once and I'll save that and uh, we should probably put this guy in a scene so we can test him so let's just go to a 3D scene here I'm going to add a um, uh, mesh, good old mesh instance 3D. Uh, not you. I need a just a fucking a box, and we're going to make it 1,020 and uh, 0.25. There we go. We're going to bring it down just a little bit, and. We'll call this um, enemy testing. And I'm going to call this the ground. This is very ground breaking stuff here. Uh, we're going to say mesh, create tri mesh static body. And then we're going to go um, and add our kamikaze guy in here. So let's go ahead and pop him in there. And he's going to do absolutely nothing. Let's just put a camera on him and we'll move it up. Probably spin it around. Uh, I'm going to take the view into two viewports and then click on this to go to the perspective of the camera. Move the camera back and uh, I'm just going to fuck it around with that and see where I can go. Just get a good viewpoint. I think that's fine. Alrighty, so let's take a look at our script and see what we're trying to accomplish here. Um, so yeah, let's just see if our animation plays and then how many times we get this print message. And uh, yeah, we'll see if I'm a complete idiot or not. And then we're also going to just comment this out because it's not really necessary. Uh, yeah, let's save this scene as... Um, test areas and yeah all right let's run it and see what happens 
So uh, as you can see, I am printing a bunch, but if we come all the way up here, we might have to stop. Uh, we go all the way up to the top, all the way up there. I am printing once. So um, yeah, it's checking if the current state is not equal to the previous state. And since the previous state was none on the first time it came in, then it wasn't equal and it's going to play the idle animation. And we should make sure the animation loops, otherwise it's just going to play it once. So uh, idle, loop it, and let's run. And I'm on the wrong scene. Run it again. And you can see this time uh, the animation loops. And he keeps doing his thing right there. So <clears throat> now that we have that, we just need to start adding other states. And I'm going to get rid of this guy. I'm also going to get rid of that guy because I think we understand the concept. So the uh, the first state that I like to make is the advance after the idle. Uh, that's going to be the state that keeps them running forward. So we'll call it advance, um, and we're going to do a lot of the same stuff. I'm actually just going to copy this, control C, and then control V right there. And I think we called that run. Yeah, that'll be good. Um, and then I think uh, we're also going to need a function to check whether we are uh, oh, we're going to be moving too, so we're going to probably need to pass in delta. Um, yeah, let's say we need to pass in delta, and then we'll also come up here. Let's go ahead and make our state uh, advance, and then we'll go there, and we're just going to say advance right there, and we need to pass in delta which we can do because we're coming from the physics process. So now that we have that passed in, uh, we're going to take this move and slide, and I'm just going to control X and control V down here. So we're going to be moving and sliding while we're here. So we need to update our velocity. And so I think we can just get away with setting our velocity dot Z. Um, plus equals, uh, well no, velocity dot z equals uh, enemy speed times delta. I think I was able to get away with just that uh, last time. Um, let's try that and we're gonna make an on ready var enemy and that is going to be equal to let's set it to one right now so that should just have us moving forward um, and what I'm going to do is just set the next state to advance and we also need to go to our animation player and go to run and make sure it loops so we'll go back to enemy testing and I'm actually going to come back and move our camera out. Just so we can see if we're actually moving. All right, let's uh, give that a go. I think we are moving. It's very hard to tell. Let's, uh, <laughs> let's detach the camera from um, a fucking dude. He might be moving very slowly. Advance. There we go. Yeah, he is moving. He's a running. Having a good old time. All right. <clears throat> so uh, we have that now we just need some logic that'll tell it when to do that and when to stay idle and for that I believe I just had a, a function called check position um, 
and then we're going to say if uh, position dot z is I'm actually going to check uh, what I had on the other guy so if I go to red man uh, that was the other enemy I had this guy right here so we're going to see where the bridge is um, advance we have this function check position which is what we're going to recreate so I'm just gonna find that in here and so yeah okay negative four so negative four is where our like gate is so we want to run until we reach that and then if we don't have that we want to return um, to the advanced state so we're just going to grab all this code right here and bring that in because I just don't feel like rewriting it all again So uh, all we're doing is returning, oh, we need a little little thing right there. And uh, so I'm making this variable called state, probably not the best name, but we're just returning what we should be doing. And I have to put these in lowercase. Uh, I don't have an attack state yet. Um, I'm gonna call this, what, explode? Yeah, explode. So um, we got to make those. Uh, let's go ahead and do an explode state while I'm thinking about it. Explode a Rooney. Uh, we'll come down and say explode. And then we need to, of course, create the function explode right there. And we'll play the jump for joy. So. We go back to no distraction mode. Um, we'll come down here and grab one of these guys because we need that same pattern of playing an animation. That's pretty much what all we're going to do whenever we switch states is play a different animation and then run the logic. Uh, so it really looks complicated to me. I had a lot of problems like understanding state machines at first and like when to switch and shit, but it's really not that bad once you get like one that you feel comfortable using. I feel like a lot of the other Godot people wanted to overcomplicate it and make it fucking annoying. <laughs> fucking annoying. All right, so we got uh, explode and let's go ahead and put explode right there. Um, yeah, that looks good. And for now, that's all we're really gonna do is just play the explode animation. So, right, he should be advancing until he hits that. Um, let's go back to enemy testing, and we already know he's running. We're going to attach the camera to him, and then see what happens. Uh, let's actually put a label on him. Um, label 3D. And this is going to be our position label. Oh, I don't, are we moving? I think we're moving. Yeah, we're probably moving. Maybe, oh, but we're not switching. Uh, sorry, I didn't think about that. Um, <clears throat> so in advance, we need to check if we are, uh, we need to actually call the functions from the check position so we're going to say uh, current state equals um, check position. So there we go. So if we if we return the state explode, we're going to go into the explode state and run the explode function. If we return the advanced state, we're going to keep running forward and stay in that advanced state right there. So that's how it's going to work. Um, let's try that again, but I'm going to have this label. And for now, I'm just going to say uh, position label dot text equals uh, position dot z. And we're going to make that into a string. All right. Label 3D, let's go to 3D and just bring it on up. 
and we're going to go to text and put some text in here. Uh, we need to say enabled, um, and we're also going to make the font size pretty, pretty big right there. All right, bring it up a little more. Um, let's run the enemy testing again. So we're going forward. Uh, okay, so I think we need to be going backward. So what we need to do is on our advanced function with the move and slide, we'll just make this guy negative. So he was supposed to switch right there unless I'm doing something wrong. So I think I might have messed up, but let me try him in my other level because I might just have the orientation of the level incorrect. So we're going to get rid of this guy right here. Uh, yeah, uh, we're going to go to level and add our guy, add our little buddy over here, and we'll throw him up right there and see what happens to him. Yeah, let's disable the level stuff. So I just need to go down to this timer and not start it. Because this timer spawns the uh, monsters every like two seconds or whatever. But uh, if I don't start the timer, then nothing in the script will start it. So um, let's try that again. So is he getting closer or farther away? I can't even tell. Let's just uh, rerun the fucking thing and get him. Just cooperate with me for a few minutes, bud. You fucking piece of shit. Yeah, he's moving away from us. So. Let's go there, and uh, I guess I had it right the first time. Down here. Bam. And then we'll run it. Now he's coming right for us. but he's not checking his shit. So we should be in the explode current state equals check. Oh, we need to say next state. That's why. Next state. And then we'll run it. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty fucking funny. Okay. Alrighty. Alright, so let's uh, continue on. And um, now that we have that done, uh, we have idle, advance, explode. We need to make sure we've got a hurt function. So we're going to say take, take, uh, hit. Uh, you know what, we'll just all lowercase, fuck it. Um, and then we'll say take hit. And then we're gonna come down here. Funk, take hit. And 
and uh, we're basically going to do the same thing right there. And we are going to have to add additional logic um, to our splody function, but uh, we're not going to do that just yet. And on this one, we'll say, uh, I think we do have a take hit. Awesome. So we'll do that, and then we need to actually switch out of that state when the take hit animation finishes. So we're going to go to our animation player, and we'll come to our node, um, animation finished, connect, and we're going to connect that to our script. And then we're just going to um, match our animation name. So match uh, anim name. So basically, whatever we just, whatever animation just finished, we can now set up logic according to that. So if we know we just finished our flinch or our take hit animation, we know it's called take hit, then we can, um, we can return to our next state of idle. And we need to update our idle state just a little bit we need to check our position in our idle state. So we're just going to grab this line, uh, control C, and then head up to wherever, where's idle, and pop this guy right there. So we might never actually play our animation because we'll be too busy switching to the advanced state, but who really gives a shit? So uh, the next thing we need to do is, um, so let's go ahead and make some health. Uh, at on ready var health, and we're going to set that equal to 100. That's a good solid number. Um, and when we take hits, uh, we'll say, um, uh, how do we do in the other guy? So. I go back to, let's just open the, shit man, where the fuck is that guy? There we go. All right. So we go to here. And uh, when we. So, yeah. I have this whole function right here, which calculates our damage. So, whenever we get hit, we like basically take in information from what we're hit by and the amount we're supposed to take in damage. And uh, I have like different attacks. These are the attacks that um, the player has. So, electric ball, kick and then overhead and then if I go to my player um, well actually I can go to my electric ball scene or um, yeah right here and you can see when we hit our body we calculate the damage and we send in the damage dealer which is going to be electric ball and the amount of damage which will be 50 so this way I can you know set up tiers and have like you know um, this is level two, it'll be two times the damage if it's level one, you know, whatever. Uh, I haven't really figured out what I'm going to do, but uh, I'm just kind of putting that system in now. So to recap, all we need to do is take the calculate damage function from the other enemy that we made and kind of plug it in. And then we'll just fill out stuff. So. Let's grab that, control C, and then we'll go back to our enemy, our new enemy that we're making, and we will uh, make a func calc q, how do you fucking spell that? Calculate damage. All right. Oh yeah, nice.
and I was confused about the order in which things are going to happen. Um, I forgot that uh, basically when we get hit, this is going to call, and then that will trigger us to move into the take hit state, I believe. Yeah, enter take hit mode, which let me take a look at that. Um, enter take hit mode. Control F, where are you at? So, oh, all we have to do is just say next hit, okay. Alrighty. So, uh, there's really no reason in putting that in a different function. But, you know. Um, okay. So, the reason that everything is red is because we don't have these functions. So, I'm just going to comment them out. And we'll say health because we don't have an enemy health and we also don't have these audio streams we'll get to that later uh, we should leave the update health function in because we're going to create one and we'll do that right here funk update health If, uh, we're gonna check if we're dead. So if health is less than or equal to zero, uh, <laughs> then uh, the next state, um, we're gonna say next state equals, uh, that'll be die. And we'll go up here and just add that, add that friendly guy in there, die. And that'll be die. And then we'll go to funk die. We'll go right there. And then uh, we're actually going to. What a surprise! We're gonna copy this shit right here, and then paste it. And then we're gonna change the animation to die. Isn't that you know? Who would have seen that one coming? Okay, so apply shock, let's not. And then enter take hit mode. Um, so all we did is just switch our, oh, sorry. So we're actually just going to get rid of that for now and it's going to say um, next state, next state equals, um, Uh, what am I going to say? Uh, what is it supposed to be? Um, take it. Take it. There we go. And then we can get rid of enemy health and just have health. So now whenever we get hit by the electric ball, we should have that happen. We're going to... Uh, we're going to have to put that in later. Um, so yeah, we're going to have to add in a fly. And that is for when we get hit by one of the blasts, we fly up in the air for a second. And then we're also going to have to have a get up. Get up. And okay, so we're going to say fly, add that function. We're going to say get up add that function and let's go ahead and pop those guys in funk uh, fly um, and we can go ahead and copy this and paste it and uh, I think the animation is actually called oh fall that's fine too. Um, and then we're going to go to Funk. Um, what was the other one? Get up. Get up. Stand up and be counted. And then, um, yeah, uh, Control V to paste that shit. Uh, and then we'll say, 
here's the problem. Oh, we're posting an L. Is it get up? All righty. Um, now we have all of that going on. And when we fly up in the air, we're going to be moving upwards, but let's not worry about that. Uh, I'm just going to leave that as a little note. Move. Move upwards. And falling. And that's, uh, it's not really a fall animation, it's more of like a flailing arms animation. So the guy is going to be like hit by the spell and like levitating upwards while flailing. So it sounds weird to have it, you know, going up while falling, but he's like falling up because of magic. So, uh, enter fly mode, not in there. Well, you know what? I don't think we even need you. Okay. So uh, I'm not going to risk hitting him with these because it's probably going to fuck it up, but I'm going to hit him with the electric ball and see what happens. He should go into the take hit and then update health. Um, what do we say about that? Next state equals die. And um, uh, we always want to update. We need to make another position label. We're going to say um, label 3D. Pop that guy in there. This guy is going to be a uh, fuck um, health label. Health label. Isn't that fun? Uh, then we'll go back to our script. When we update the health, we'll say health label dot text equals str. And then we'll say health. All right, so that should do it. Yeah. Let's give it a go and nice. Okay, so yeah, we should be good. Him. It can't be phased. Let's see why that is. We have our collision shape. Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of some of these print statements. An easy way to do that is to hit Control F and then type print. Uh, that's fine. You are really annoying. What was the problem again? I can't even remember. Um, yeah, so he wasn't getting hit at all. Uh, so what does my electric ball even collide with? What do I even pay this guy for? So it does collide with bodies, and let's print the body you hit. How about that? And we'll say uh, electric Pokemon Sonichu has hit and then let's see what we hit isn't that great um, enemy testing now we want to go to level damn we didn't do a single scratch on him Oh, uh, we're probably not in the group. We probably need to be in group enemy. Uh, let's go to my electric ball scene. I'm sure that's it. Electric ball, yeah, if body is in group enemy. Okay. So um, we need to go back to our enemy testing. Uh, we need to go to our kamikaze guy. And then let's just go to um, funk and then uh, underscore ready. And we're going to say add, oh shit, add to a group. And the group is going to be enemy. Right? Enemy. All right. Then we'll uh, try it again. Yeah! 
Well, that killed him. <laughs> but yeah, that's what he's supposed to be doing. <laughs> yeah, he's flinching. Awesome. So, uh... Alright, so we gotta complete our uh, take hit function based on what we hit. Um, I mean, what we're hit by. So, we've got to uh, enter a fly mode. Um, yeah, we need a fly back mode. Uh, okay, so we're gonna say fly, and then we're gonna say uh, fly back. And one is for when we get like kicked backwards and we're gonna be moving backwards like uh, maybe like five feet and then fall on the ground. The other one is for when um, we float up in the air and then fall to the ground. So here's an example. Uh, this is the flying stun. So he flies up in the air, which is a different state. Then he falls and then he gets back up, which are all separate states. And then he charges us. And then the next one is an example of the fly back where we throw a kick and he flies back and gets back up. I think that's only two different states instead of like three. But yeah, we're just chaining them together to get the desired effect that we want. Uh, that'll be the big difference. <clears throat> and so all we have to do on the fly back state right here, um, let's go ahead and say funk fly back. And uh, we're going to have to move and slide. We're gonna have to play an animation. So we'll grab that shit, plug it in. And then of course we want to, uh, we want to move backwards, but um, how much? So we're gonna say velocity dot Z uh, minus uh, equals negative um, yeah, that sounds good. Uh, and then we're going to say move and slide. Right, because when we were going positively, we were moving forward. So when we're kicked backward, we want to move in the negative Z. And we're going to move and slide. Um, and what animation should we play? We're going to have to decide that. So if we are hit... Yeah, I think we're going to use that one. Uh, knocked down. So, fly back will be knocked down. Wowee. Okay. Uh, we're probably going to have to do times delta 500 times delta, and we're going to pass in our delta. That sounds right to me. What are you talking to me? All right, so we have our fly back, and then we need our uh, fly, which will be moving us upwards. So we're going to say. Um, <clears throat> Actually, I think what we're going to do is go to our animation player and go to our fall. That's the animation we're playing. Uh, actually, you know what? Instead of doing it through the animation, we're going to be doing it through a timer. So let's just go to this guy and say timer. And um, is that how we want to do it? Yeah, we'll say uh, fly timer. Or uh, upwards timer. And then we'll just add that guy in at on ready var uh, upwards timer. So this will control the amount of time that our guy flies upwards. And this will be kind of cool doing it this way because I could like add it into the um, uh, like level up so that they fly upwards longer so they can't run forward. So upwards timer and we're going to say um, we want 
to start the upwards timer. Uh, upwards timer dot start strat. Uh, you can do that, right? I think so. start. I don't know why I'm being stupid about this. All right, so let's set that to like four seconds. Uh, we're going to set it to one shot. Uh, yeah, one shot. And then um, what we'll do is we'll connect it to a timeout and we'll say um, next state equals Ball. Uh, yeah. Ball down. So, um, right after the fly, we're going to have fall down. Uh, we'll probably do it that way. And then, um, fall down. So let's pop that function in there. And uh, we're going to play the exact same animation. Copy this right here. Control C, and we'll put that there. And this will be velocity dot y. And let's go. I don't know. Times fifty. So we'll just move down. Actually, can we just subtract? Can we use gravity? Gravity. What's gravity? It's up here somewhere. Yeah, can we just do uh, y equals gravity times delta, I think is how I should do this. That sounds correct to me. And then we need to go to fall down, delta. So, um, we fall down and we need to grab this guy and when we fly, as in like flying up, uh, we're going to be adding, uh, not adding, but uh, we need to get delta up in this joint. think I need to actually go to fall down right here, control C, and then come on down to when I changed the state and get rid of that. So after three seconds of floating upwards, he's now going to fall down. Uh, he will move into the state fall down and then we will fall back down and I guess we can either have another timer or we could do it so I mean we could do it when he hits the ground is that how we want to do it let me just see what the animation looks like yeah Okay, so I'm just kind of trying to track where we at. Where get we get hit, we move into the fly state. We fly up. We start the upwards timer. The upwards timer is going to go off and send us into the fall down state. In the fall down state, we still stick in the fall animation, and we should be moving towards the ground. 
And so basically when we hit the ground, we want to, um, damn, I guess we just want to get back up. So I really don't want to detect the ground though. I really just want to like get back up after the animation is finished. So, hmm. let's see how I did it on this guy. Fly. Okay, so fuck it. Let's just see what happens. Yeah! Oh, he dies. I think we need to give him more health. Um, enemy health, one thousand. Let's actually get his health label. And we're gonna pull that up, and we're going to go to the inspector, go to flags, uh, enable the billboard. We are going to go to text and put some text on it, and then make the text a little bit bigger. I'm gonna go to this one, just hide it because we don't need it anymore. And uh, yeah, let's give that another go. <clears throat> So we are hitting him. Animation. Okay, yeah, cool. All right, there we go. So that's right. Uh, next state we need to set equal to fly. <clears throat> and. Yeah. So he's still coming at us. Uh, let's do this. Let's actually add a, another label here and that's gonna be our state label. So we're gonna say label 3D and uh, we'll make this state label. Oh, we never reset our velocity on our Z. That's why he's still moving forward. Um, let's go to Enabled text and we'll say state. Let's look at our 3D positioning on this guy. Um, and we're going to modulate this to a red color. We're also going to make the thing bigger and that should be good. Let's try that again so we can get a better understanding of what's going on. Let's go to him and actually hook it up. So um, a way we can do that is we'll go here and uh, we'll just copy the if after we get done here, we'll tab and then it will be update. Um, actually, we'll just use the shorthand and what do we call that? Um, state label dot text equals uh, current state. There we go. gently past ourselves. Isn't that wonderful? All right, so what is going on? That's right, we need to reset our velocity.z. So we'll go back to him. Um,
Yeah, and we probably should be doing this in our idle as well. Alrighty, and then we're also going to need it. Whatever, that should be fine for now, because those are the only two paths that ha paths it has, I believe. Alright, well now he's coming down. Well, there's nothing to take him out of that state, so we gotta fix that. Alright, so I thought of a good solution, and what we're gonna do is actually stick a ray cast on this guy on the actual model, not the character body that's attached, uh, that the model's attached to, and then once the character goes up, when he comes back down, once the ray cast hits the ground, then um, we'll do the stand up, we'll switch states then. So it'll actually be kind of like physics based, I guess, uh, if you want to call it that. So let's go to our guy and we're going to add in a ray cast. A ray cast 3D. And we will go to the 3D. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, let's. Um, I guess put it there and put it at negative point one or negative point four. Okay. Yeah, and um, we'll say floor. Oh, you know what? No, what am I? I'm so fucking stupid. Yeah. Let's delete that and then uh, we'll say if is on floor. We'll just check if we're on the floor. I forgot about that. Um, okay, so when we are flying all up in the air and then we are falling down. Okay, so um, if not is on is on is on floor so if we are in the air uh, then we can do all this stuff and else uh, we just want to set our next state equal to idle and that ought to do it Go to level. Yeah. Up three seconds or whatever, falling down. Now that he is on the floor, he's going to advance again. So let's. Uh, we might have to adjust that just a little bit, but um, uh, 3D. We need to go to our collision shape there uh, no not that we need to shrink it on down let's go to our animation player and put them in a better animation like uh, run and we'll go up um, again to our collision shape then we fucking go and shrink this guy down bring him on down so Save and then we'll go to level and let's uh, run that shit one more time from the top. He is very happy to see us. Yeah, yeah I kind of like that. So it's a little different from the other guy we have because he's got an animation when it gets up, but I like the suspended uh, flow of these guys a little more and I just want to experiment around. So I'm kind of happy with how this guy works, but we need to find a way to apply damage. So uh, how am I going to do that? I think I want him to do his little dance and then uh, explode. Uh, that was
was the wrong button. Um, so we'll go to animation player. We're going to hit animation. Let's look at his little explodey dance. Uh, okay, I guess we'll just make a explosion. Um, what do we do? Particles. So now once we fall, we want to add the get up animation in there. So what we're going to have to do is go back to our script there. And we already have our uh, get up and get up function. We just start, we need to chain our um, our states together. So when we fly and where is our fall down, instead of saying next state idle, so instead of going to the idle state, we're going to probably transition into the get up state. Yeah, get up, um, what do we call it? Get up, there we go. <clears throat> So we'll run this function. Let's uh, take a look where that guy's at. Uh, so we're just playing the animation. And then once that animation finishes, we need to go to something else. So um, what was that one called? Uh, get up. Let's grab that. Let's control C. We'll come on down, control V. We'll uh, put our little semicolon or whatever the fuck it is. Uh, next state, then we'll equal idle. So that's, um, we're basically like chaining two or three states together to get this thing going. Let's see how that looks now. So we fall down, he hits the ground. Do you feel better now? <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. So that's yeah! It's a little glitchy. So there's that, and then he comes down. So we need to, uh, we need to change his position. Um, uh, on that animation. So we need to go to this guy, go to the animation player. Uh, so when we're on the fall, we want to be from, instead of being up here, we want to be down here. And I'm not sure, we might have to change a few values here, but we're going to zoom out. So uh, I'm just going to grab this entire Mixamo hips thing right here and delete them and then I'm gonna play that and still looks okay so then we're gonna go back to the beginning we're going to insert a key and we're gonna say position negative one and let's see what that looks like so now we're where we want to be um, so yeah we can just have that there i'm gonna go ahead and save that and just to be extra careful i'm gonna control d over here i don't know if we even need to do that but now it should be at the bottom let's um see how that runs and yeah it, it uh doesn't fuck up the other animations i don't know sometimes i feel like it should but it doesn't and i understand why but it doesn't sit right So it looks good on the first one, but not the second one. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so what we can do uh, is make two animations. Um, let's go to the Kamikaze. Let's go to the Fall. Um, we're going to go Animation, Duplicate, and then uh, Falling Down. <laughs> Falling down. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so we got that. Um, and then in the original fall, uh, we're going to just turn this guy back to zero. And hit this guy up over here and hit him back to zero. 
and then if we play it Let's try that. <clears throat> yeah! Oh, that's right, we didn't change it. Um, let's go to the script. Let's go to the script. Sorry, my cat is right here and annoying the fuck out of me. <clears throat> All right, so we're going to uh, up the get up when we have the animation player playing. I completely lost my train of thought. Uh, yeah, putting in the second animation. Okay, so um, instead of fall, we're going to say falling down. Rockaroonie. Um, yeah, that ought to do it. Let's give that a try. Yeah! So, the first one is still being an asshole. Let's go to the animation player. Fall. I changed you back to zero. What if I change you to one? What the fuck? All right, going back to our animation issue, I believe I found the problem. So uh, when I was setting the Y to one, I believe that would move me up to a position like this, but I was uh, incorrect because uh, I guess our hips are kind of working a little bit differently. So I'm gonna put our Y at a zero and then I'm gonna put this at like uh, 60 and I'll hit enter and then we'll see a difference here. So for whatever reason, this is our Z and probably because our guy is rotated. So it looks weird, but that would make sense that our Z would now be this way because it would normally be that way. But uh, let's go back to that and say negative 60. So that way he's gonna be in the middle, maybe a little bit higher, maybe negative 70. Wowie. Um, yeah, that looks fine. Uh, looks better than it was. Then I'm just going to delete this one and delete this guy and then I'm going to uh, I think I can just control or maybe I have to duplicate keys there we go we'll bring him at the zero we'll bring this guy over put him over there and then we'll save it and then let's give that a shot Okay, so I got them backwards. So I'm gonna have to go to the script and uh, let me make sure I got the Kamikaze script. Uh, so I'm looking for the falling down and we're gonna set that to falling down too. And then the falling down two is going to be set to falling down. And then I think we're going to have to come down here. No, because we're going to go to get up. Uh, all right, let's give that a shot. Yeah, it's a little choppy there. What we can do is go to the animation here. Uh, falling down. 
two, sort of my 3D view. That's the one where he's in the middle, falling down one. And what we can do is actually go from, I think we put it negative 60, negative, negative 60, 600, no, 60 there. And if we see that, then we'll fall down. Um, I think that'll look better. It still probably needs to be a little bit faster. So uh, what we can do is change the animation speed on this guy by speeding up our entire animation if we want. Um, another thing we can do is let's see, upwards timer, let's just set this to two. I think that makes more sense. Go to level and we'll run that again. Yeah, I think we also need to increase uh, the speed at which it goes up and the speed at which it goes down. So, um, fall down. Uh, let's go times three, times two. Gravity negative gravity times 2 times delta what is this PHP all right uh, now we need to uh, let's fly back Oh, I guess that is where we're falling up, and then when we're falling down, let's just double it. I guess we could just double our gravity variable, and that would uh, do it for us as well. But we're not going to do that. No, I don't think so. That's not bad. So uh, I guess we'll get back to making the splody animation. Whatever, fuck it. Uh, we're gonna leave that as it is for right now. And um, we're going to work on coding what happens when they actually get to the gate. So once they're in the attack state, uh, once they're in the explode state. So I want them to explode and I wanna do some interesting shit with that. So let's jump into Blender. All right, so we've got to make our uh, fucking, um, we're gonna make like uh, arms and legs and shit to be blown off this guy. So we got to kind of cut those out of this model and then we're going to export them as meshes into Godot and put them as particles. So let's get to that. Let's go to edit mode. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I think we'll just grab like there and then we're going to do uh, control P. Uh, actually, no, I can just press P by selection. So then we'll um, go back to object mode, we can click on this and hit forward slash on the numpad to make it just that. We'll go to material preview, so that's like an arm right there, we can see that. And what we're going to do is get rid of the armature modifier. Uh, actually we're going to, uh, I'm not going to save this at all, so I'm just going to delete our um, armature modifier altogether because we don't need it, and then we can uh, delete that. <clears throat> we'll just delete the whole fucking thing. How does that sound? And then we're going to grab this guy and just separate out some arms and limbs and cut them up and then make me make those into particles or something. I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. 
Uh, so key by selection, we're gonna grab, we definitely need to do the head because that's gonna look the coolest. Um, there's really anything else we need to blow off them. Uh, I think that's good. We're just going to have those kind of explode and then the body turn into a gooey mush. Uh, that'll be good. So we're going to delete that. <clears throat> I'm going to grab these things here. How am I going to do this? Uh, I need to get them back to the scale they're going to be in the game. So let's go R. 90 just to bring them up like that and uh, I'm going to go control shift save and that'll save it as a different one and I'm going to go kamikaze anime body uh, body parts and we'll fucking save that then we're going to file import um, fbx and we're actually going to import the thing again uh, just to get just to get a reference for the size. So that's how big he is compared to our model here. So we just got to grab all of these guys and we're gonna scale them down. And we'll just keep scaling and bringing them in. It's probably like a factor of 100, so I probably could have just like looked at a number you know, in fact, let's see if we can do that. Yeah, we'll grab him. We'll go S and uh, negative 100. <laughs> S 100 negative. Well, that didn't work. <clears throat> We're just going to scale it this way. I think that's the way to go. And then we'll move it in until it gets close enough. Doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. Oh, we keep zooming. We go to wireframe. Uh, I'm just going to rotate it just to kind of take a look does that foot look about the same yeah i think so so we'll have uh we're gonna rotate that back bring it down right there and uh we're gonna hide this guy hide that skeleton and we'll have this Um, let's see, let's actually Alt H, bring that guy back. So when we do our little jump, let's take a look at how that looks. We'll go to animation. Uh, we need our splody. So I think like right about here and then right there, <clears throat> He's just gonna go splody. So we gotta have. Uh, let's go to object mode and grab these guys. And let's actually grab. Uh, I'm gonna grab him and we're gonna go to object. Uh, set origin. Origin to center of mass. So now we can move around the object. So we're not autistic. Autastic. Bring it down. Uh, we're going to do the same thing. Object set origin, origin to center of mass. Bring it on down. Uh, again, origin, origin to center of mass. Bring it in. Grab here, object, origin, origin to center of mass. Bring it in. And <clears throat> there we go. So now, how am I going to do this? Do I want to make another 
skeleton or should I just try to animate these meshes? All right, so what I'm actually gonna do is take these uh, pieces and bring them in separately. Um, so LP uh, by selection, I kind of joined them all together off camera and that was uh, not an intelligent decision. So now I've got to separate them all again. So now they're all separate objects and I'm going to actually kind of bring them all down here to zero and then save them and then export them separately. That way I can kind of like spawn them in. Um, I just want to do some other fun stuff with them. I'm also going to get the torso. So let's uh, Alt H to unhide everything. Let's uh, go to edit mode and let's go here. And I'm just going to go to wireframe and delete vertices. We'll use control plus a few times and then delete uh, those vertices and yeah that'll fucking do it all right let me get rid of this as well delete them vertices we'll go to object mode um, yeah let's uh, delete that armature it's gonna make that thing fucking huge so we're going to have to go here R90 negative and then uh, shrinky dink it on down to the appropriate size uh, I mean I think that should be good enough we'll put this guy somewhere over there but we're gonna bring them all down to like this midpoint and I'll show you what I mean so G Z and I think I'm gonna do it like this and that looks good so I'm going to hide it and then I'm gonna do the same thing for all this just kind of move it in um, yeah we're gonna hide it uh, and then we'll alt H to unhide everything. I'm going to grab it and say Control A, and then um, probably all transform. So now they're all centered on that little dot. We do need to grab this guy and uh, get rid of his modifier and add a uh, decimate modifier. All right, that ought to do it. We'll apply that, and uh, then I think we should export these. Just how are we going to do that? Let's go here and click torso. Isn't that awesome, isn't that cool? Uh, okay, then we'll grab these guys and just get rid of the armature because there's really no reason for it. I think that's our. It's a million dollar deal right there. So uh, now let's see, are we going to export these all as separate things? Um, hmm, maybe, maybe. Uh, let's save this, let's go file, um, export GLTF. I only have the torso selected and I'm gonna go to my shitty mobile game we'll say uh, we're gonna make a new folder in the kamikaze enemy um, it's going to be uh, shit what are we gonna call that oh uh, body parts whatever uh, we'll just call it body and then this is gonna be torso 
uh, include and selected objects only. So we're just going to include the torso. We've exported that one. I'm going to hide it. I'm going to click on the arm right uh, file, export um, GLTF. And what is this? This is the arm right. So arm right include selected objects and then we can hide that guy click on this guy and we'll file uh, export do the same thing again arm left and I want to do kind of like a ragdoll type thing uh, with these where they just kind of like spawn in and then fly somewhere uh, I'm gonna apply an impulse to them with a body and then uh, yeah we'll see what happens? Uh, what is this guy? This is leg right. A leg right. I'll get rid of that and then uh, file export GLTF and this is leg. It's got to be left. Include selected objects. Don't we'll hide that and. We'll get the head um, file export GLTF head include selected objects excluded. All right, um, cool. Now we'll go back into here. All right, so now let's take those uh, fucking body parts and make a scene with them. Um, Yeah, what about, what is it, a rigid body? Uh, a rigid body, a 3D physics body that is moved by a physics simulation. That sounds like it. Um, let's add a mesh. Uh, you know what, I'm actually going to not do that. And when I make the new scene, I'm going to... Uh, make the base node a rigid body and then I'm going to add a mesh and then let's see what do we need a collision shape yeah no shit no shit Godot alright so we'll grab this guy let's do um, let's do the head first so we'll go to the 3D um, I'm going to go to our kamikaze enemy body Let's grab the head.glb, we'll bring it in, and we're going to make it local. Then we're also going to uh, select it and just bring everything to zero, so we're at a zero. And then I think we should probably bring it up to, I think like 1.5, sounds about right. So we'll do that. Um, let's say this in our kamikaze anime rigid body and we'll do um, uh, head right that makes sense okay so we can get rid of this guy and then we can probably just pull this up here and get rid of that then we can go to this collision shape and we'll say it's a um, yeah probably a capsule shape we're going to shrink it down to roughly match the head So there we go. I mean, we probably could have used a sphere, but you know, whatever. Uh, that's gonna roll a little lopsided. Um, so we'll go ahead. Collision. All right, and we'll say uh, decapitated kamikaze head. Isn't that great? Bam. Um, okay. 
So uh, I have no idea how these work. Let's take a look at the documentation. Add, uh, apply central import, apply force. Yeah, we're going to try that. Make a new script. We will create it. And then when we spawn in and uh, vector three, can we just go straight up zero, zero? Well, I guess it'd be a, like a 10 here and then zero. Um, alrighty, so uh, let's just make a, I go to my enemy testing scene and I move my camera out of here and I'm going to delete this guy. And let's add a script and it'll say, um, let's go funk uh, input if event dot is action pressed and um, yeah we'll say I guess <laughs> fire I can't remember what what button that is uh, if we are pressing fire then we want to spawn head and we'll put a funk spawn head up there and get rid of that shit. So now we just have to instantiate uh, our head on ready var, and um, we're gonna say head uh, equals load, and then we're going to load in head.tscm. And uh, here, let me open that up um, we're gonna say var h equals uh, head dot in instantiate and then uh, add child uh, h and then h dot position equals um, Vector three, let's put it at zero, zero, zero. So it's just gonna be right in the middle. I think it should be right in the middle anyway, but we want to make sure. So whenever we press the fire, let's go to the project settings and input map. Um, fire spacebar, okay, perfect. So if I go to the scene and press spacebar, we should spawn in a head. Let's give that a go. Uh, in stage instantiate hmm <laughs> well that's fucking oh hell yes dude woo all right they stack real well this is gonna go work real well for the mobile game. <laughs> nice. All right, so let's grab the left leg. Well, let's grab uh, a, what the fuck is that called? Rigid. Damn old rigid body. We gotta add a collision. 3D, we gotta add a, uh, that should be it. And then we're gonna drag the left leg on oh, shit 3d drag it on in there uh, make it local bring it on out of there delete that node then we'll take this bring its transform back to zero bring it on in 
and uh, yeah I think we don't really have to rename that we just got to I'm gonna make it another cylinder shape not cylinder uh, capsule I think computer wise computer speaking um, I think the computers prefer rounded objects like this I think a square actually takes more computer power if that makes any sense what I just said all right let's call that um, left leg left leg all right nice now we will save it as left leg and uh, we're gonna attach a script yeah uh, create and the script will just we're gonna delete all this let's go to the head uh, we're gonna delete that we'll grab this guy and then we'll go back to our leg and then um, yeah I think we should throw this guy off to the side so it should be like negative 10 and that looks good to me uh, let's go ahead and do that again with a uh, the torso yeah the torso is probably gonna look really cool gonna look so fucking sick dude uh, we'll grab that we'll bring the torso in we'll make a new 3d scene why do I have two viewports there we go uh, make local drag this out delete this guy go in here and then we can add a collision uh, shape 3d and then we'll grab the torso we'll grab uh, our fucking transform bring it on back collision shape um, let's get it uh, capsule shape again I'm very creative and innovative on this channel so we'll bring this guy here. Uh, that looks pretty good. Pretty good to me. And then we'll just call this torso. And we're going to save that, of course, as a uppercase torso.tscn. We'll do the same thing. We got a left leg. We now need the leg right. <laughs> All right, I read that weirdly. Um, add a new one. Uh, rigid. Dang old rigid body right there. I'll tell you what. We'll get rid of that. Uh, we're going to make that local. We're going to drag this in. Again, delete. Okay. Um, fix our transform. Then we can add the capsule shape by collision. Collision shape. Uh, capsule some bitch put it right here put it right there bring it on up bring it on up right there uh, looks good to me and we're gonna call this what do we want to call this uh, right leg right leg of Rooney and we'll save that guy um, yeah and then we'll make a new one um, arm right uh, we're gonna say make local bring that up here we're gonna delete it okay uh, grab it uh, grab it uh, push that shit back and then again we've got to add the collision shape you know this is oh shit what did I do here um, change type rigid body now we're cooking uh, right arm control save and let me make this capitalized because it calms uh, my autism all right <laughs> now we're gonna fucking uh, move this shit in bam look at that All right, we'll save that, and then we just need the left arm. 
Um, right, yeah. Left. All right, here we go. Arm left. Uh, new scene. Rigid body. Shit. New scene. Now rigid body. Now the arm left and we drag it in. Then we make it local. Then we pull this out. Then we delete this. Then we uh, reset our transform. We add our collision shape. And then we make that collision shape into a capsule shape. For the home run, we bring it on in, we pull this shit down, move it on up, move it on over, because we're moving up in the world, things are finally going our way, uh, his position's a little off, so we're just going to put it to where I believe he should be. So right there sounds good to me, and we're going to save that as... Uh, let me rename this to left arm. All right, then we can save it as the left arm. Okay, so we save that. We save this. Uh, we don't have a script for those. So let's copy this and then we'll just go to the left arm, add script, and we'll create it. We'll get rid of all that and we can paste that, save. We'll do the same thing here, add a script, the right arm, get rid of all that, and save. And the torso, we'll do the same thing, create, uh, control V, save it. Left leg, you already had it, so uh, we gotta go so this is our um, X, Y, and Z. So I want it to be moving on the X, uh, probably like negative 10, because I want it to go to the left, kind of like this way. And then when I go to the right leg, I'm going to add a script, right leg, Control V and then I'm going to say positive 10 so it's going to be shot down to the side and then uh, I'm going to grab the torso uh, I guess the torso can just go a little bit uh, lower than the head so probably like 5 and then we'll grab the head look pretty cool um, right arm uh yeah let's make this go like kind of backwards a little bit and then off to the side and uh yeah we have left arm we'll just make it kind of negative five um negative two let's see how that guy looks so then let's go back to our uh, enemy testing scene. We can go to this script right here. And I'm going to bring these on down. I'm going to grab this, Control C, and then just um, Control V, delete everything in here. And then uh, grab this, Control C, and I think I need what? Five, four, five, and I can uncollapse this bring this up and I can just start bringing these in. So I have the head, I'm gonna go left arm, right arm, left leg, right, right leg. Uh, so arm, we don't want the GLB, we want the TSCN. So can I filter these? Um, whatever, who gives a shit? Uh, all right, so we got the head already. We need leftleg.tscn. Plug that guy on in. 
we need uh, right arm .tscn. Plug that guy on in. We need right leg .tscn. Uh, plug that guy on in. And now we just need the left arm and the torso. Uh, let's grab the torso. All right, and we also need the left arm, wherever the fuck that is at. Perfect. Now we need to come down to our code and uh, we're going to copy this. So we'll have um, head, we'll say, uh, spawn arm left, uh, spawn arm right, spawn leg left, spawn leg right. Spawn torso. Uh, okay, and so then we just need to change what we are spawning right here. So we'll say um, arm, right arm. Oh shit. Left arm. right arm left leg right leg and then uh, torso alrighty so they're all starting at the zero position um, yeah, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Uh, I think I do need to go to these because the head, if I go to my 3D, I think we did bring him up to where I thought the head should be. Let's go to the left leg and space him to the left a little bit. Then we'll go to the torso and bring him up just a little bit. Go to the right leg and we'll uh, send him to the right. Go to the right arm and um, <clears throat> go to the Z and we'll send him up here to the right and maybe rotate him just a little teeny tiny bit. We'll go to the left arm and we're going to do the same thing. Bring this guy up to the left a little bit and rotate him and we'll see how that goes. So let's go back to the enemy testing and uh, oh, um, I didn't change the script to spawn all of them. I just added the functions in. So let's go down and um, we'll just go there, spawn torso, spawn arm left, spawn arm right. Uh, spawn leg left spawn leg right um, yeah so that's everything so let's give that a go interesting Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, I think I want to add another function to these that will just despawn them after a few minutes, but we're going to spawn them on our kamikaze uh, player first, um, and we'll probably spawn them using a game manager script. I think that's going to be the way to go. 
All right, so I said we were going to spawn these through the game manager script, which is, I don't know if I've shown this off yet, but it's basically just a um, uh, an auto load script that I have running in the background, and I use it to do stuff like uh, record the player stats, like the amount of gold, and I also use it to have... Uh, um, we can do different stuff based on what character dies. So if the red guy dies, then we get 65 gold. And what I'm going to do is add in another match statement. What is going on? And then control V. <clears throat> All right. So we'll say for the... Uh, Kamikaze, um, and then we'll add gold. 105. Actually, you know what? We're going to get less because he's not carrying shit. Um, that's why he got the shitty job of running at us and exploding. And spawn death particles. Uh, for this guy, we're going to say spawn. Well, actually, no. Because we're not uh, doing it on death, are we? We're doing it when he blows up. So let's just go ahead and put that on our character. Um, yeah, we'll just copy this shit. Uh, let's go to enemy testing. Go to that script. We're going to copy this sequence. Right. Well, let's copy this stuff first. Control C, and then we'll pop over to our kamikaze script, and we're going to pop that in right here at the top. And I'm just going to condense all these functions down just to make it easier. And we'll bring that up there. Uh, so now we just need to figure out when we want to do that, and when we hit the explode. I think what we'll do is we'll go to our animation player and when we do the explode function here uh, like right there we're going to add a uh, we gotta make the function first. Um, let's say func explode character. Pass. And let me get rid of that. And let me bring this shit on in. Okay. Explode character. And then we can go to our enemy testing and grab this guy here. And we'll bring that to this guy here. Hell yeah, and I think... Hell yeah, brother! And then we gotta move these fuckers back. Then we can go to add track, property track. Um, no. Add track. Call method track. Kamikaze. And then we come on down and we'll say insert key and we want to uh, explode character. So there we go. So once that plays and then we should also do damage. Um, so let me double check how I did damage with the other character. Let's go red, red man, red monster. Um, yeah. Control F. Uh, all right, so I did a kick and then um, yeah, I have this game manager dot force field hit, so I'm just gonna do the same thing again. And we'll go back to this guy. And we're gonna say game manager dot force field hits. And I think I'm gonna have to change the sound because uh, it makes like a weird crystallized sound, which we don't want, but whatever. Let's go ahead and run it and see what happens.
place. Nice. Uh, that was pretty stupid. Um, let's try that again. Uh, what we need to do actually is go here and once we get like there, we've got to make ourselves disappear. So we're going to add track, property track on the parasite zombie. Um, visible insert key so it's going to be visible all the way to that point and then we'll put one here and that will be false and we're going to zoom in It's going to be a real um, now you see me, now you don't type deal. Yeah, there we go. And then we want to probably bring this guy all the way back. Uh, we'll save that and then we'll give that a go and see how that looks. Um, I'm going to go to the 3D and we're going to move this guy forward, help him on his journey just a little bit. Oh yeah, his shape is still there and the head comes back down. That's pretty funny. So, uh, yeah, I don't really mind that. It looks pretty cool. Um, let's add a particles and we're going to do something very, very simple. Um, uh, yes, yeah, right. We got to go to... Oh, I think I want regular... Uh, GPU particles 3D and we'll add uh, draw passes I'm just gonna do a sphere mesh for now we're gonna add a new standard material and we'll just make that material a good old red like a, a blood red all right we're gonna go to shading and we're gonna go to unshade it then maybe we'll Definitely gonna make these smaller. Gotta be like blood drops or whatever. Actually, you know what? Let's go to GIMP. Uh, GIMP, pop that shit open. We'll just make a blood texture real quick. I think this will be cheaper on resources. What do you think? Um, 500 by 500 and uh, we don't actually want any of that let's make sure we have an alpha channel alpha just like me and then we're going to grab our eraser do this the dumbest way possible and erase everything in here we'll grab our paintbrush and we gotta grab something that looks more like blood splatter what does that look like? Uh, that's pretty fucking cool. I like that one. Bam. Uh, maybe another one. Bam. No, on second thought, that's probably not great. What about this guy? This one. Uh, that one's probably the best. So we're going to make this guy bigger. Spatter him right there. Probably put another one. All right, that looks pretty good to me. And then we're going to go File, Export As, um, Shitty Mobile Game. And uh, yeah, we're just going to put it in here and we're going to say Blood Texture. Blood Texture. Export. And then we'll go back and in here in the Albedo, we'll grab our 
guy. So, can we say, yep, yeah, there he is, blood texture. Open him up. And the, can we do alpha? Is that going to, um, I don't want uh, this guy, I want a quad mesh. Oh shit, I gotta remake the fucking material. All right, new standard, uh, albedo. And then we'll quick load and then the blood texture, an ocean of blood, alpha, alpha scissor. What does that do? That seems to be okay. And we will um, see. So now we need some type of process material, new particles, process material. And the gravity should be going down and we need some initial velocity going up. And we also need to take our spread, um, which should probably be a spear and direction. Let's turn that up to uh, 180. So now it's going everywhere. And we can set this to, let's go three and four. And I think we're going to move this guy up. And we probably need to make them smaller. So let's go uh, 0.25, tab uh, 0.25. There we go. And then we probably need to make this sphere a little smaller. So 0 0.5. Uh, we can probably spawn like 30 of them. And... Uh, Actually, let's spawn like a hundred. Let's see what that looks like. And it should be explosive. So there we go. And let's try and make this look a little better by doing scale, um, scale curve. And I guess we'll start out small. I mean, start out big and then go small. So there we go. Yeah, I kind of like that a little better. Yeah. Um, okay. So we're going to say splody. Splody bits. All right. And now we'll just set that to uh, emitting and we'll set it to one shot as well. And uh, then when we go splody, uh, I guess we'll just say splody bits fire. Um, what do we what do we call that? Emitting. Dot. Emitting equals true. All right, let's see if our splody bits looks cool. Emitting. Um, so what is it called then, you fuck? Emitting, oh. I'm using the Canadian spelling. Yeah, dude, I like that. All right, so we're gonna have to fix them falling back down, but that's pretty good right there. I can live with that. <laughs> 